Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today we are going to be making Mars' Moon Phobos um, larger than Mars. So yeah, um, a few weeks ago I think it was, yeah, I made the moon larger than Earth. And yeah, that video got a lot of likes and, and a lot of views. So I think I'm going to do another one. Today we're making Mars' Moon Phobos larger than... I think that's how you say it. Phobos, Phobos, however you want to say it. So if we click Add Moons to Planet here... There is Phobos, so it's a very, very, very tiny object, as you can see here. It shouldn't even be a circle or a sphere, it should be an asteroid shape. But for some reason, it's a sphere, and as you can see, it's very, very close to Mars. So, pretty crazy stuff, and we're going to be making it larger than Mars, actually. Actually, no, if we make it large, it'll just collide, actually. Let's do it with um, Deimos here, actually, because, um, yeah, it's a little further away, so we can make it a little bigger. So, there we are. So, if we look, Mars is quite large in the sky already, but if we look from Mars's um, view, so let's go on the surface here... So almost near the North Pole here, and we look round, we can barely even see Deimos right now, so, um, yeah, that poor little Deimos is just completely invisible to the, um, or to anything that's on Mars, so, yeah, poor, poor little Deimos, we're going to make it a little larger here, so, we're going to start off right with the moon, so we're going to double its size, or no, actually just make it all the way up to, um, let's start off by making it a thousand kilometres in size, so, or in radius, as I say. So there we go. As you can see, this thing is massive now. As we see, you can see it right there. I don't know why it's all blacked out. Why is that? Wait, let me just quickly save this so we can hopefully change its colours. Can we? Can we do that? All right. So um, save that. Open it up again. So I don't want it to be all blacked out because that's just weird. So um, okay, here we go. Right. Can we do it now? Okay. Please say we can. All right. So where is it? Okay. There it is. Oh yes, we can. All right. Perfect. So we can change the colours of it, so there we go, that's better. So we'll have it as a grey colour, because that's pretty much what it should be. So yeah, just a dark, like, grey colour, just boring since it is like an asteroid. So um, yeah, there we are. So let's do that, and in the last option here, make it a little more white. Actually, why does it look green? Is it me or does it look kind of green? That's, that's weird. Okay, so there we go. So now it's just a massive object, as we can see here. Now it's a lot larger. If you want a quick comparison, it should be a little smaller than Pluto, I believe, by looking at its size. Um, Pluto, where you at? Pluto? Wait, there it is. All right. Yes, yeah, it's just a little smaller than Pluto still, but larger than Pluto's moon, I want to say. Where, where's um, Carol now? Yeah, so it's... Oh, yeah, a little larger than that. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. For some reason, this color's still bothering me. I don't like it. Um... Okay, I'll just leave it like that. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So now if we look on Mars... We can play, hit, um, or hit the C key here. Alright, so, now if we look, yeah, it's a lot larger in the sky, looking similar to how our moon does in the sky, so hopefully that all orbits it still. Oh, it's starting to, like, get, I don't know what that's doing. Make it reflect more light, maybe. Why is it doing that? Magnetic field, add it on. All right, um, why is it doing that? I hate it when they, like, all smoke up like this. It's just really annoying. Okay, there we go, so we just need to add more iron. Alright, interesting, so... Oh, it's still shooting out stuff. Alright, oh well. So now we want to make it even bigger. So let's make it 2,000 in radius. So now it's almost the size of Mars. So if we want to get a little look here um, from the surface, let's land here again. Now if we look over there, yeah, as you can see on the horizon there, that bad boy is getting big. So if we look carefully, you can see it's um, slowly moving. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. And poor little Phobos there. It's just so small. But there we go. So there's a good view of it from Mars. So now this thing is huge. And then if we want to look at Mars from Phobos as well. Like, yeah, they're pretty much the same size almost now. So cool stuff. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make it even larger. So let's make it 4,000. So that's going to make it larger than Mars's. So let's do it. So there we are. So now it is larger than Mars. So we've got to be careful they don't collide here. So um, let's do it. Ooh, okay. Phobos's um, orbit still getting messed up now, so um, not good. Alright, so how's it going to work? Are they going to collide? Oh, I think they are. Okay, so we're going to quickly move them out a little more. Like that. And make it... So Mars orbits... Um, um, Mars orbits um, Deimos now, so um, let's do that. Okay, so now... Oh, they're in a binary system. Okay, oh my god. Look how close that is, the collision. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, we've got to split these guys up. They're too close together. Alright, so... Let's make it so it has more... Does it have more mass than Mars? Okay, it does. Okay, so let's make it the size of um, an Earth now. So let's do it like that. Oh, wow, that's big. Okay. Can we do that? Okay, so it's pretty much the same size as Earth is now. So we'll get a quick comparison as well. A little smaller than Earth. If we hit play. 
Mars is being torn up by this thing now since it is so large. So that's not too good. So it is getting beaten up because it is just huge in size now. So yeah, that's not too good. <laughs> Actually, wait, we did kind of mess up Mars there. Okay, so let's um, quickly delete all these fragments. Delete Mars and add a new Mars in. <laughs> so uh, let's put it... Um, don't know where the first moon went. Where did Phobos go? Or Phobos? Alright, so. We've got a giant fragment there now. Alright, so let's put Mars in orbit of it. So, yeah, like that. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully it won't get torn apart now. So, if we look at the moon from Mars now, or it's no really longer a moon. Let's delete that fragment as well. Can we get a good view here? Please? Okay, Mars doesn't look like it's getting torn up. It's just out of range, I think. So, if we look from the surface of Mars now... Yeah, let's go down to the surface here. Let's have a look. And as you can see, that thing is massive in the sky. It's humongous. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. So um, let's do that. Also, guys, do you want me to do one with um, Ganymede and Jupiter and Titan and Saturn and like Triton and Neptune and stuff like that? Like, just leave a comment down below. So I know the last video did get very popular. So yeah, we're, yeah, I will probably be making like a third episode to this like mini series almost. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So. How's this going to work out? So if we keep looking... Alright, so that's all fine. Alright, now what we're going to do is... We're going to make this 10,000 kilometers in radius. Okay, so now... It's almost probably going to cover up the entire horizon on Mars. So if we look around there... This thing is covering almost half the sky now, which is crazy. Just look at that. There's a good old sun over there. So as we can see... Not good stuff. Oh, they're going to collide. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. That is crazy. Okay, we've got to delete the Mars again, dang it, because of all these fragments. Alright, so, let's put Mars um, a little further out. Wait, Mars! Mars, where you at? Please? Alright, let's lock onto this again. Alright, now we can have Mars. Okay, so let's put Mars at its distance again. So, there. Wait, can we quickly add the moons to Mars just so we can see their distance? Right, add moons. Okay, where are they? Trails. Okay, so they are a distance. What's the distance there? Alright, um, let's quickly go to it. Alright, there we are. So, the distance from Mars is... Uh, wait, I can't even see, dang it. Alright, I'm going to have to quickly check up on this. So, orbit. Okay, so it's about 50,000 kilometres away. Okay, so, so we can delete that and, and delete that again. So we can delete the Mars as well. So we want to keep it as accurate as possible. So 50,000 kilometres away. So, it should be this distance like that so that's how far away it is normally so yeah pretty interesting stuff so this is how big it would be realistically if it was that size so if we look here where is it wait where would it oh it's, oh, it's below dang it <laughs> all right so let's go there okay now we look up in the sky and there it is so that's how big it is in from its normal distance so crazy crazy stuff we don't even need to hit the play button actually because yeah we're not we don't need to play it we just need to Look, yeah, you get the point. So, let's make it 20,000 kilometers now. So, it's getting larger. So, if we look at Mars again, let's go to the north, pretty much the North Pole here. Let's have a little look around. So, as you can see, yeah, this thing is mm, humongous again. Pretty crazy stuff. But let's make it even more crazy. Let's put it up to 40,000 kilometers. And now it's getting so close to the point where I can't really make it any larger because... Otherwise, it will just completely destroy Mars, which isn't good. So, this is pretty much the maximum size I can make it honestly because any larger it's probably going to tear up mars as soon as i hit play but any larger and it'll completely just destroy mars so the largest the moon can get is pretty much this size here because at this size it starts to eat away at mars and tear it apart so yeah that's the end of this um video because can't do anything else there's not enough distance between the objects to um make the moon any larger than this so yeah poor mars is now um just a massive explosion of um objects so yeah, now this is a planet. Now Deimos is a planet here, so... Yeah, poor Mars. And now this thing is pretty much the size of um, Jupiter, almost. Yeah, look at that. Saturn and Uranus in between them. So, pretty crazy stuff there. But that will do it for all this video. So, hopefully you guys all enjoyed. And, yeah, make sure you um, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Um, and if you've got any ideas for another video, leave a comment down below. Because that would be awesome. But anyways, that is it for this video. So, um, oh, it's got water on it. Look at that. It's got like a lake at 7,000 degrees. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff there. Alright, anyway, so that will do it for this video, like I said. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.